Hi everyone, sorry I haven't uploaded for a while but I'm back today and we're doing some 3D acrylic flowers. So we're going to start off with the new Glitter Bells Extreme Length Stiletto Tips using the Glitter Bells Base Glue. We're just going to stick them on. Just like that. And then we're going to use the Glitter Bells 100 file shape them so and then i'm using glitter bells violet monomer the number 12 brush and we're going to start off with some pink bell cover so i'm going to start off first by creating a small line on the ring finger I'll just pat that into place and then use the edge of my brush just to create the shape I want. Don't worry if it's not perfect because we'll come back in and file nice crisp edges later on. Going in with the second bead at the cuticle, dragging it down. I add in a little bit more to this corner. And then one more little bead at the cuticle. Again, dragging it down just so we've got full coverage. So now we're going to go in with some flamingo feather beautiful pink vibrant neon pink so on this finger we're going to be doing an ombre so we're just putting two threads up the nail just feathering it up adding a bit more sometimes you can find flamingo feather can be a little bit naughty and marble slightly so i'm just adding little bits at a time just to make sure i've got full coverage so we're also doing nombre on the little finger as well so again two threads way up the nail dragging it down and then feathering it up so the middle finger we're going to do the full nail in Flamingo Feather. This is the one that's going to have all the 3D flowers on. So as you can see, I was working in um, CAD a smaller beads because with this gorgeous warm weather we're having at the minute the acrylic was obviously setting a little bit faster so i was just working in smaller beads to keep it more manageable so now we're going to go back to the pink bell cover and place a bead on top of the pink and then just feather it down ombre into that pink and then another one at the cuticle again feathering down and then i put one more on there i believe just to get a bit more coverage I think if I'm right, I add a little bit more because I want happy at one side. <laughs> but as long as you're working really small wet beads, you're not making loads of bulk to the nail, so don't worry. So again, the same on the little finger. I 
think this nail was being a little bit naughty because it was my own fault I didn't move that finger out of the way so I was finding it difficult to position myself well now we come in to the smile line i did file this out of shot and um, i didn't want to bore you with that mm -hmm. but if you want to refer back to um, my video on smile lines you'll see how i do that so i'm just using the flamingo feather here just to go around that smile line just so um there's a, a block colour um, highlighting that smile line, if that makes sense, because I'm going to go in with some flake in a minute. So with this, again, don't worry if you cover that smile line, because you can, once you've let it dry, you can file it, which is what I did. So we're using bubblegum flake now, which is in one of my top flakes. So this is a little bit like Tetris, <laughs> obviously with the flakes because they're all different shapes and that and for the smile line you want to follow around it. So it's just about slowly just pushing them into place so they don't overlap onto the nude colour of the smile line. do work with my, book, my brush quite wet on that, picking small beads at a time, just to make it a bit easier. So now we're going in with glass slippers and we're just going to cap them all. Got pesky hair. And probably the only nail tech out there that hasn't had her own, done her own nails. I've just been so lazy with it. I really should. I should look awful on these videos. So that's that one capped. I don't think I bore you with all the rest. I believe I skipped to the pinky for you. Yep, yeah, there you go. And last bead at the cuticle and dragging it down. So again, we're going to foul them. And then if by magic, there we go, they're all done. So now we're going to go in with glitter bells and non-wipe top coat. And just do all those. And put that in the glitter bells lamp for 60 seconds. Bubble gum flare just looks beautiful. So now we're using the glitter belt 3D brush. And again, we're using flamingo feather. 
just giving the top mm -hmm. a little bit of a wipe looking mistake there dropped a bit of acrylic on the outside of the tub uh, and now we're just going to create the petals don't worry in a minute i do zoom in for you to see how i do it so i'll explain that when we get to that bit we'll say when obviously picking your beads up for these it's what it's hard one getting the same size consistent bead each time you'll see i often put the bead down and pick another one up because it's not the right size and um, try not to work too wet obviously you need to let the bead needs to be quite dry and you need to let it go matte before you can play with it I often cheat <laughs> when I place the bead onto the nail I sit there blowing it <laughs> so it dries quicker so I can do it so I've decided to do the four petal flower actually it's up to you how many you do not the fastest process unfortunately especially if you're deciding to do a full nail it is quite time consuming thankfully I haven't had many clients ask for full nails in them normally it's just two or three little flowers I decided to do it obviously in the same colour as the base nail as well because I just thought it would look a little bit different rather than obviously say having the base nail pink but then doing white flowers you know you typically tend to see that more and I just wanted it kind of to flow with the rest of the nails rather than bringing another colour in there so as you can see now that i've zoomed in i get my bead place it on the nail and i'm blowing away at this point to help it dry so and i use the tip of my brush at the bottom and then the belly of the brush to push down and then i use the corner of the brushes just to bring it in and um, so a bit like a teardrop the glitter bells brush because it's got this gorgeous point on it it does make it so much easier sorry going out of focus a little bit so you'll see on this one so i just keep tapping it to see if it's ready to work with using the tip of my brush pattern down and using those corners to bring them into the shape that I want see how lovely and fine the point of that brush is being able to get in between each petal but it doesn't create like a big gap so voila I've done most of the nail there I don't think you'd want to watch me do the full nail it's quite boring Although ideally I should have zoomed in for the nail now watching it back myself. You'd have been able to see a little bit better. 
so obviously because we're on a stiletto nail and all nail shapes are totally different I wouldn't have been able to fit in full flowers all the way down the nail or all the way across etc you are going to have little gaps so all I do I just fill that little gap with a single petal I believe that's my last petal, I think. I might be wrong. No, I am wrong. It's not my last petal. Also, you do want to think about where you place your petals, especially towards the free edge, because you don't want to take away from the shape of the nail. So now we're going to go in with some crystals. We're just going to dot them in the middle of the full flowers. Sorry, just placing the crystals where I need them. So again, we're just using the Glitter Bells Base Glue. Really good for crystals. Moving them into place because obviously with it being 3D it's not a flat surface. So there you have it. There's the set. I'm going to do this bubblegum flare cloth. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll be back with another video shortly.